Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So I have got so many. I don't know how I managed to wear this many fragrances, but I'm going to jump right in. So I'm going to start with one of the Coco Pink Linen Sprays that I just picked up. Um, this is in the fragrance called Pumpkin Chai Tea. This one is so yummy smelling. It, uh, it's warm, sweet, pumpkin puree, and chai spices. It's gorgeous. I love it. This one, the fragrance did not last on me for very long at all. Um, actually, I keep, I say that, but I keep spraying them on bare skin and then don't spray them on my clothing and in my hair, and I know better. <laughs> so it probably performs as well as any of the others if you spray it on clothing and hair, which you'll probably get a few hours out of it that way. Um, I love these. I love using them as a base and then wearing another fragrance over that over them. I also love using them as actual linen sprays, spraying them on the couch, spraying them on my bed. They're so, so fragrant when they're used as actual linen sprays too. So anyways, yeah, that is a uh, pumpkin chai tea from Coco Pink, such a beauty. This next one is one that I wore because I told you guys I would test it so I could tell you how it performs. This is the Andromeda's Moon fragrance that is a clone for um, Viniglia del Madagascar from I Profumi di Firenze. Um, it's, this is basically, yeah, it's a really, really beautiful bourbon vanilla scent and it performs really, really well. Um, I don't, I think I've had a sample of the real perfume before, um, but I'm not the biggest fan of a bourbon vanilla smell, so that's why I've never really talked about that one much or been super interested in it. This is a beautiful clone though. And this one lasts on the skin so, so well. I got a good six, seven hours out of this. It's beautiful. It's, if you know what kind of a typical bourbon vanilla smells like, I think you would really like it. I do wanna tell you guys though, if you want a cheaper alternative, cheaper alternative, um, I, I mean, I feel like the Andromeda Moon one is beautiful and is, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to the real thing, this is amazing. However, I do have something else that I just wanted to kind of bring to your attention. This is a product from Sugarworks, it used to be called Sugarworks Beauty Lab. I think they're just going by Sugarworks, like I think just Sugarworks at this point. But this is a hair perfume and this is in the scent Bourbon Vanilla. Um, I had the perfume oil roll-on as well. I ended up decluttering that one. I think I gave it to my mom but this smells almost identical to, yeah, this smells almost identical to the Viniglia del Madagascar. In fact, this one's richer smelling. It's a little bit more dense smelling. It's got more body to it, even than the Viniglia del Madagascar. So if you guys love a bourbon vanilla scent, definitely check out this Sugarworks. Um, brand they and this perfume mist this hair perfume mist lasts forever in your hair I mean you'll smell this until easily until the next day it's really really nice so yeah if you're looking for a good bourbon vanilla this is a good one and their their roll-on perfume is really good too and I remember it performing really really well so anyways, that is Andromeda's Moon, uh, their version of Viniglia del Madagascar, and then just this Sugarworks Bourbon Vanilla Hair Mist, which is also very similar. Okay, next I wore this little guy. This is my Cacherelle Noah. I adore this perfume. This is the most beautiful musk, kind of 90s, 2000 style, 90s, early 2000 style musk. Um, it's like a warm skin musk. It's got some coffee in it. And I do, not many people get the coffee from it. Uh, it must just be my skin. I do get this really beautiful, almost like a, just like a stark black coffee note in it. It comes out on my skin, but it basically just adds warmth to the skin musk. Um, for being such a light fragrance, I get a lot of wear time out of this. I can get at least, um, I don't know, I can get at least five or six hours out of this before I would feel like I would need to reapply. It's just such a beautiful, warm, clean, 
skin musk and it's just everything that I am loving in fragrance right now. I'm really, really into musks of every kind. Um, I've collected so many musks like recently that I'm gonna do an updated musk video. Um, somebody recently requested it, so yeah, I'm gonna get them all together and do an updated musk video. I've just got some really, really good ones. So anyways, that is Noah from Cacherelle. Okay, next I wore this beauty. This is Mugler Alien, The Taste of Fragrance. Such a stunning version of Alien. It's really, really similar to Alien. I feel like if you've got Alien, just the original and the purple bottle, if you've got Alien, you don't have to feel like you're missing out on anything because this, it's so, so similar. I would have to get my original Alien and spray them side by side and compare them to even be able to tell you what the differences are. I think this has got some caramel in it. I do feel like this one is sweeter than the original Alien, but they're both pretty sweet. But yeah, this one is sweeter. It's beautiful though. They, these are absolutely nuclear perfumes. At one point, I almost was gonna declutter this because between this and my Alien Essence Absolute and my original Alien, I feel like they're all so, so similar that I don't need all three of them. But now that I know that L'Oreal, I think it was L'Oreal that bought Mugler and people are saying that they just don't perform well anymore and they're just like watered down now. I will never <laughs> get rid of any of my bottles of Alien now because I don't even care if they're so similar. I like need them for because they're the original formulations. But anyways, yeah, this is nuclear on me. I can get 24 hours out of this. This is one that I can spray it on at 10 o'clock in the morning after I take a shower and get ready and then I will smell like this until I take a shower the next morning. There's no like spraying something else on. This one is absolutely nuclear. Anyways, I adore it. That is Mugler Alien, The Taste of Fragrance. Oh, you guys, this next one was such a good find. Um, I did not know how I was going to feel about these. I thought for sure that these were going to end up being generic. I wasn't going to love them. I should know better because I love Lanvin fragrances. This is from Lanvin and this is Le Fleur de Lanvin. This is blue, the blue orchid one. I want every single one of these now. Um, I love Lanvin perfumes. I just think that they're such inexpensive, like easy to reach for beautiful fragrances. And this one is no exception. This is, it's gorgeous. It's nothing groundbreaking. There's nothing really special about it, but it smells amazing. It's like a sweet, light, iris perfume. It's gorgeous. If you're somebody that's not a huge fan of like a powdery iris, I think you would really like this one. This one has enough lightness and sweetness to it that it keeps it from being really, really powdery or over, overly irisy. It's just such an easy to reach for, super, super pleasant perfume. It's the perfect everyday fragrance. This would be great for people that are not supposed to wear fragrance to, to work. It's light, it's airy, it's sweet. It's got a touch of a powdery iris in it and I adore it. I want every single one in this line now and I will be picking up every single one in the line. I want them all. Um, the performance is not great. You can only get a couple hours out of this before you would need to reapply. Um, it does kind of have the strength of like a body spray, but I love it, I don't care. This is gonna be one of those super easy to reach for fragrances in the dead of the summer, but you can wear it all year round. But I think it's just gonna be amazing in the heat. And that's another thing, it was really, really cold out when I, when I wore this one, so um, it may perform better in warmer weather. I will definitely keep you guys updated as it gets into spring and summer. Um, I adore it though. So anyways, that is Lanvin Blue Orchid, such a good find for me anyways, because I'm such a fan of Lanvin. Okay, next I wore my two Pascal Morabito fragrances that I picked up. The first one I wore is this one here called Sultan Ore. Um, these are amazing, you guys. These are amazing. These are some of the best fragrances I've bought all year. Seriously, for the price, you I mean, you just can't beat them. This one, smells slightly vintagey. It's like a slightly vintagey smelling tuberose, but it's not so vintage smelling that you wouldn't want to smell like that, if you know what I mean. It's not like, it doesn't smell dated. It still smells very 
current, but it definitely has, it definitely leans vintage. I just love it. If you guys like tuberose, I think you would really like it. If you like kind of vintage leaning fragrances, I think you would really like it. Um, it's such a gem. It's such an amazing gem. It's such an amazing find for $23 or whatever I paid for it on FragranceNet. Oh my gosh, I would pay $50 for this, seriously. I would pay twice as much because it's so good. The performance on these both are amazing. I think I got, gosh, I sprayed this one on, I wanna say about four o'clock in the afternoon and I could still smell it when I went, went to bed that night at like nine. I am quite sure I will get, I mean easily get eight hours out of these, eight, 10 hours out of them. I mean, they're they're so good. They perform so well. I love this. It's got, it's got like a, it's got a freshness and like a, oh, it's so hard for me to explain because it's kind of, it's, it's just that vintagey smell that I just love so much. It's more of a fresh tuberose rather than like a really sweet bubblegummy tuberose. It's more of like a really bright, fresh tuberose. I will do a whole video about my favorite buys of 2022. You will definitely see this because this is one of the best things I have bought all year. I always find some of the best gems at the end of the year. Somehow, it happens every year. So anyways, that is Sultan Ore from Pascal Morabito. And then the next one I wore is this one here. This is Sultan Noir, and I love this one. So with this one, when you smell it out of the bottle, you get a lot of the woodiness to begin with. This is one that once you spray it on your skin, well, it, on mine anyways, it starts to sweeten up. And this one ends up smelling like Hermes Ombre Nargile or Boucheron um, Ombre d'Alexandrie. It smells like a lighter, woodier version of those and also much less sweet. So it reminds me very much of both of those fragrances, but take, a, I mean, take away about two thirds of the sweetness, add some oud, and just lighten it up a bit in general. And that's kind of what Sultan Noir smells like. It's a gorgeous fragrance. It's, it's not groundbreaking, but it is slightly unique smelling. Usually fragrances that smell like this are pretty darn heavy and this one isn't really heavy. It'll definitely project for a good long while, but it's not super, super overpowering. And I, you know me, I'm like a heavy sprayer. So even with me spraying like crazy, it was not, now don't get me wrong, it's not a light perfume by any means. It's definitely a winter, you know, a fall, winter, cold weather, um, perfume that does have a touch of oud to it. I know a lot of you out there are not huge fans of oud. Um, I don't like oud if it completely overtakes a fragrance. It's beautiful in this though. It's blended beautifully. It's not, it doesn't completely take over the whole fragrance and especially on skin, it really mellows out on the skin. And I just, I love it. It's beautiful. Again, one of my favorite finds of the entire year. Now I have had a decant of this for a while. So the, it was not the first time by any means that I had tried this. Um, somebody did send me a decant of it and I knew I loved it. But at that time that she sent the decant, you could only get this on eBay and it was coming from Italy. And I just didn't, like, I didn't love it that much that I wanted to order it internationally. I know it's really hard for people to ship perfume internationally too, but as soon as I saw that they had it on fragrance nut, I snapped it up because it's amazing. But anyways, that is Sultan Noir from Pascal Morabito. Beautiful. Okay, next is this one here. This is my little skin musk perfume oil that I picked up. I'm so glad that so many of you have told me not to even bother with the spray perfume because the oil is far superior and I am so happy that I ordered the oil before before I ordered the perfume because I am in love with this oil. This is a vintage smelling like 90s sweet warm skin musk fragrance and this one is unique smelling compared to all of the other musks that I've got in my collection. This one is actually really really unique. I don't know it's got this really bright clean sweet scent to it. It's not like your typical white musk. It's not your typical regular musk. 
It's got this gorgeous sweetness to it and it's clean. I love it. And this oil lasts forever. Once this warms on your skin, I mean, it's re number one, it's really, really fragrant. So you'll smell it for hours. Other people are gonna smell it for hours. And I can get, I don't know, five, six hours out of this before I would need to reapply. I think the day I did wear this, I wore it in the morning when I went to work. Um, and then by the afternoon, I was able to spray something else on. But it was one of those things where it hadn't completely worn off. I just had to wear something kind of complimentary to it. It had faded enough that I could spray something else on, but it wasn't yes. totally gone. So anyways, that is Skin Musk, and it is by, it used to be by Bonnie Bell. I remember the, that it used to be made by somebody else, and I just could not for the life of me remember. But yeah, it used to be made by Bonnie Bell. It's now made by, I think, Parfums Decor. So anyways, yeah, that is Skin Musk. Okay, the next fragrance I wore was this little baby from Tempest Vite. This is called Fete d'Ombre. And I knew I was gonna love this, you guys. I just did not realize how much I was gonna love it. Um, I went pretty hard with it. I did use up half the sample, and these are two mil samples. So I did go, um, I did use half of the entire sample but it was amazing. The note in this that was the most interesting to me um, when I read the note breakdown was the maple. And that, for me, that is the note that comes out the most on my skin. I smell it the entire wear time, and I love it. It's a slightly woody, but it's sweet. It smells like a sweet maple but without smelling like pancake syrup. It's, I mean, it really does smell like maple sugar, like warm maple sugar, but it's slightly woody. Yeah, basically like the maple, the maple sugar and the, or the maple sap. Is it maple sugar or maple sap? I can't remember. It's one of the two, but no, I think it's maple sugar. That's what it smelled like on me the whole time. This thing is an absolute beast. I got, I don't know, eight, 10 hours out of it. It lasted forever and it's just a stunner. I'm sh every single one of their fragrances are amazing. This house, it's a new house and boy, did they come out swinging. <laughs> they made three incredible perfumes and I love to see that. I would much rather see a house start out with one, two, three amazing fragrances, then try to come out with an entire line of, fra of just kind of mediocre fragrances or fragrances that smell like things you've already smelled before. I've never smelled anything like this before. In fact, all three of their fragrances, they're so incredibly unique. I've never smelled anything like them before and this is an absolute masterpiece for real. It's a masterpiece and I don't use that term very often. I don't think that it's warranted very often, but in this case, this is a masterpiece. I love it. I've got one more wear out of it and then I will probably need to pick up a full bottle because it's perfection. So anyways, that is the Fete de Ombre from Tempest Vite. Such an amazing fragrance. Okay, next I wore this baby. Uh, this is from the House of Oud and this is called Dates Delight. I love this perfume. This is basically, this is like sweet stewed plums and that's basically what it smells like. It smells like sweet plummy spice dates. It's beautiful, it lasts forever on me. Um, and it's funny because I never used to get that kind of longevity out of this. I used to not have the best luck with the performance of this fragrance. I don't know what happened this past time that I wore it. It was nuclear. It lasted forever. I got, I mean, eight, ten hours out of it easily. It was one of those that I don't think I wore another fragrance the day that I wore this because this I could still smell this the next day when I woke up. So yeah, I'm, I'm so happy that it just started performing well. I don't know if it's because it's because it's aged some and it's deepened up a little bit or if it's just because, I don't know, maybe I wasn't wearing it in cold enough weather. It's been pretty cold here recently. I'm just not sure. But all I know is that it performs really well for me now and I'm definitely loving it. <laughs> so anyways, that is the House of Oud Dates Delight. Okay, next I wore my Dior Addict. I did pull out the newest formulation bottle. Um, I usually, I need to, and I'm going to, I'm gonna pull out my original formulation bottle and wear it. Um, I haven't 
pulled that one out and worn it in a couple years at this point and I feel like it needs some love. I've probably got another 15, 20 wears in this. I don't have much left in it, but I've still got plenty. I love this. This is just such a beautiful roasty Tonka fragrance. That's really what it boils down to. It's got the newest formulation. I think it's got Jasmine in it. Actually, I don't think this one even has Tonka. I think it's Jasmine and Bourbon Vanilla, but to me, it still smells like Tonka. It still smells exactly, or it still smells very close to the original formulation to me. So for me, Dior Addict is just this beautiful, roasty Tonka bean fragrance. I love it. This thing is nuclear on me. Addict will last for 24 hours if I didn't take a shower. It would literally last forever. Um, it's nuclear. And that's the newest formulation. It's still amazing. Thank goodness Dior did not butcher this one. So anyways, that is Dior Addict. Okay, next I tried out this sample here. This is the Ajmal Signify sample. This perfume is straight trash. I am not gonna sugarcoat it at all. It's so, so bad. I couldn't even tell you what this smells like. It says fruity, spicy, floral, woody, and musky. It's not any of those things. Kind of slightly sweet. It's a whole bunch of synthetic wood or synthetic cedar, and like pencil shavings. That's what it smells like. It's like very mildly sweet pencil shavings is what it smells like. It's awful. It's so not worth anybody's time. Um, the only like redeeming thing I can say about this fragrance is I kind of get early 2000s vibes from it. So, you know, and you know me, I like anything that smells slightly vintage. And yeah, early 2000s at this point is vintage, which is crazy to think about. It's been almost 20 years though, or it has. Um, but yeah, that's the only redeeming quality, but I really cannot stand it. It doesn't smell good on it all. It smells like mildly sweet pencil shavings. It's horrible. So anyways, that is Ashmal Signify. And it does not perform well at all. It's gone in like, I don't know, an hour. Okay, and then last but not least, I saved this beauty. This is the new one from Charles Wong. This is Aurora Part Charles Wong L'Apartment de Madame de Florian. This, you guys, oh my gosh, this is such, such an amazing perfume. It, it smells amazing in the bottle, but it is magic on when you wear it. It's super, super unique too. It's, you kind of get this tart fruit in the top, almost like a lychee. And then you get this almost slightly, very light, delicate, almost like a powdery pepper note, like a pink pepper. And to be totally honest, I don't even remember what the notes in this are, but this is what I get. And then as it dries down, you almost get this, it almost gives you a berry feel. You almost get kind of like a, I don't know, almost like a sweet tart. It almost gives you cranberry vibes and it doesn't have cranberry in it. I can, I definitely know that. It's beautiful. This is one of those ones that you just have to try it to experience it. And I am just, I'm really lucky. This thing is like magic on me. It was one of those days that every time I moved, I was getting a whiff of it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I smell amazing. Oh my gosh, I smell amazing. It was just, a, it was a good perfume day. Um, I love it. It's an absolute beast. I got at least eight hours out of this, probably more. I really, really recommend this. And something about the way it smells reminds me, like this one is probably always gonna remind me of Christmas just because it's that time of year. And I just adore it. So unique, so beautiful. The vision behind these perfumes are, are so unique and beautiful. I love everything about it. So anyways, that is Aurora Par Charles Wong L'Apartment de Madame de Florian. Oh, and finally, that's gonna be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.